Okay, this motor is a 93 turbocharged IDI, turbocharger model, as we can see here. Um, picked it up for the princely sum of $350. Came with the turbo, came with the intake box that's not on here right now. The crossover pipe goes down there but isn't there. Didn't come with a starter, but everything else was there. So, right now I need to test it. I want to make sure it works. So, testing an IDI like this on the test stand. What I did was, I hooked up a battery. Battery to power for the uh, starter. And we've got our, a little wire here. The starter, this is the little wire off the starter. In this case it's just cut and all jacked up, but it'll work. However, in order to start this thing, we need fuel. So I have a can of fuel here running into the mechanical fuel pump. That will all take care of itself. We need power to the fuel shutoff solenoid, which is the front most here, and the cold idle advance, optional, but it helps with bleeding. However, because this is a complete motor, everything's wired up. It will, the glow plugs and everything will work correctly. However, we just need to get power to it. Now, typically, so on these 93, there's a big heavy wire that comes down. It would go over to, I would think, the uh, driver's side solenoid. It's a couple of bigger, I'd say 10 gauge wires, I guess. And that powers the glow plug. That powers the main part of the glow plug. It also needs key on power. Key on power would be on the, uh, main wiring harness. It's the bigger, thicker, heavy red with green stripe wire. That's your main thing. Power that, everything works. It fires right up. However, I couldn't really get a good clip in there, so what I did was I just took a clip from Battery Plus over to the power terminal on the glow plug. This will back feed power into the rest of the power of the, uh, the rest of the circuit that powers the fuel shut off, etc. And it powers the glow plug. So watch. Got it clipped. Glow plug cycles. Give her a little throttle. And start. <laughs> Bucks, eh? But that's how you would start a, an IDI in the test app. Okay, done.